my spirit remains with you. Do not fear. Now, here's what it is. This is what the Lord Almighty says. And here's, I started to preach this, but I, the Lord gave me something else. This is what the Lord Almighty says. It says what? In a little while. Everybody say in, in a little while. Mm -hmm. In just a little while, in a little while, in a little while, I will once more shake the heavens and the earth, the sea and the dry land. I will shake all nations and the desire of all nations will come and I will do what? I can't hear you say, I, I will do what? I will do what? Says the Lord Almighty. Then let, let's read verse number eight together. What does it say? The silver is mine, what? And the gold is mine, declares the Lord. Go ahead. The glory of this present house will be greater than the glory of the former house, says the Lord Almighty. What? And in this place, I will grant peace, declares the Lord Almighty. Somebody praise God for that right there. Hallelujah. Amen. The return of the glory, the return of the glory, the glory that Ezekiel saw leave, God is now declaring, I'm about to bring that glory back. And he said, all I want you to do is get a slight vision of what I'm trying to do. That's why he says, who remembers what it used to look like? He said, I don't even want you to do that because all I want you to do is give that as a place of departure. Let me share with you what I mean. He said, I'm not giving you back the form of glory, but I want you to start there because it's from there I will build because the glory of the latter house will be greater than anything you ever imagined. Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you could ask or think according to the power that worketh in you. God is about to blow your mind. Touch somebody and say God is about to blow your mind. He's going to do more than you could ever think of. He's going to do more than you could ever imagine. He's going to do more than your greatest dreams. He's going to do more than your greatest imagination. God's going to do something in your life and in the life of this church that only he gets the glory for. God is going to do it. Declares the Lord Almighty. He said, don't fear and don't be afraid because I am with you. And as long as I got God, I don't need nobody else. As long as I got Jesus, I don't need nobody else. Somebody praise him right there. I got to slow down because I, I haven't gotten to the word yet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Touch somebody and say, in a little while. Touch somebody again and say, in a little while. Uh-huh, in a little while. Just a little while. Hallelujah. You've got 20 more days in this month. In just a little while. Hallelujah. In just a little while. Amen. After you have suffered just a little while, then he strengthen you, settle you, establish you, and make it perfect. Touch somebody again and say, in just a little while. Hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost up in here. It won't be much longer now, children. God's about to do something. Y'all sitting there like you don't believe what I'm telling you. But you better hear the word of the prophet today. I don't care what you've been through. I don't care how long you've been found. I don't care how difficult it's been. I don't care what the devil has said to you. The devil is a liar. And the truth is not in her. My God says in just a little while. My God said in just a little while, he that shall come, will come, and will not tarry. Slap a praise on it right there. Hallelujah. God's glory departed, but his glory will return. Y'all didn't hear what I just said. I said God's glory departed, and his glory will return in just a little while. Verse 15. Verse 15. Now I really want to go to verse 19. Verse 19. Touch somebody and say, just a little while. Come on, y'all still with me? So I'm almost done the message, believe it or not. In just, in just, in just, in just a little while. What's a little while? It can happen before you leave out of this room today. Just a, in just, touch somebody and say, in just a little while. It can happen before you get out of here today. In just in just a little while. It can happen right now. 
Hallelujah. You can be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. God can heal you right now. God can deliver you right now. I heard what you said this morning, Stacy. You said healing is a process, but deliverance is instantaneous. God can do it the moment you make up in your mind. You said the man came to Jesus and said, if thou will have, thou can have make me whole. You don't know how profound that is because that's the last message. I remember hearing my grandfather preach. Clinton Jones preached that message. If thou will have, thou can have make me whole. I told you I couldn't remember nothing, but I can sure remember messages. And I got a little news for you. Some kind of way God is taking the effect of all that weed off my brain and stuff is starting to come back to me. I praise God for that. If thou will have, thou can have make me whole. Touch somebody and say, God wants you delivered. And it is your moment. You've been sitting beside the gate. Y'all better tell me to preach. You've been sitting beside the gate for 38 years. Get up from there. Sitting down. God can't use you. Sitting down. Get up somebody and let God use you. I know you've been through. I know you got a reason to cry. But the devil is a liar. I said the devil is a liar. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Is there anything God can't do? Is there anybody that God can't hear? Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Put your hands together and bless the name of Jesus. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. I said somebody shout hallelujah. I said somebody shout hallelujah. So somebody said in a little while. Mm. Verse 19, y'all. Verse 19. Is there yet any seed left in the barn? Until now. Everybody say until now. He said until now. The vine and the fig tree. The pomegranate and the olive tree have not borne fruit. Until now. Until now. Everybody see it? Until now. Until now, nothing happened. Until now, we've been cut back. Until now, there has been no production. Until now, we've borne no fruit. Until now, we've been waiting on God. Until now. <laughs> until now. Un until now. Until now, we've worked hard as we know how to work and seen absolutely no results. Until now, you have prayed, you've fasted, you've given up on God. You've, you, you've done everything you know to do. Un I touch somebody and say, until now. I feel the preacher coming on. Un 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 until now, until now, until now, until now. I cry. I've laid, in I've laid on my face. I've fasted. I've asked God, how long, Lord? Somebody said, how long, Lord? Not long. Until now, until, until now. I hear the writer say, until now, until now. He's setting the stage for an immense change. He's setting the stage to say that this is the way it's been. Up until now but I'm about to do something that you've never seen up until now yeah that is your past but it's not an indicator of your future y'all not hearing what I'm trying to tell you he said pay no attention to what it's been like up until now pay no attention to how you live until now come on Israel pay no attention to how you suffer up until now pay no attention to your losses up until now. Pay no attention to your heartbreak up until now. Pay no attention to your failure up until now. Quit put the verse back up there, will all pay no attention because the last part says, From this day on, I will bless you. That's my message. From this day on, from this day on, from that kind of my shop, from that touch of my say, from this day on. I'm blessed. Y'all see it? That's the word. From this day on. I didn't make it up. From this India, that thing jumped off the page. I shut back in my seat. I said, help me, Holy God. God said, I don't care what it's been. Until now, that's all you know. 
But God's about to do something for you that you've never seen before that you don't even know about. I'm preaching to somebody. I wish I had time to preach it and teach it and tell you everything that Israel went through. All they suffered. And God says, yeah, uh uh-huh, that's the way it's been. In other words, what you saw, you weren't crazy about what you saw. It was real. The pain you felt, it was real. The heartache you felt, it was real. The disappointment you felt, it was real. The attack of the enemy on your life, you hear me, Brian? It was and is real. That's why he said, is there anyone, any, yeah, any seed left in the barn? In other words, is there anybody still got a praise they can plant? Touch somebody and say, plant a praise. Come on, touch somebody and say, plant a praise. If you got nothing left, plant a praise. Plant, plant, a plant, plant. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought I had some sanctified folk. Touch somebody and say, plant a praise. Hallelujah, because it's about to change from this day on. From this moment on, from this day on, it will never, ever, ever. I feel the Holy Ghost up in here. From this day on, there will be peace in your home. From this day on, there will be corn in your barn. From this day on, you will have a great harvest. From this day on, you are the head and not the tail. From this day on, you are above only and not beneath. From this moment on, you are God's chosen. You are God's elect. You are the blessed. You are kings and priests. Help me, Holy Ghost, to preach. From this day on, you are anointed. From this day on, you are more than a conqueror. From this day on, you got power. You got power. You have authority. Slap somebody and say, from this day on. Touch them and say, I am a praiser. Tell them I am a praiser. Tell him I am a praiser from this day on. I'm going to praise him. I'm going to bless him. I'm going to magnify him. I'm going to exalt him from this day on. No more despair. No more crying. Dry up your weeping eyes. He that shall come. 